Yo, Voss reporting in. This is the Bitmain Antminer D9. Like to give you the, cr the quick crash course, all right? The Bitmain Antminer D3 was a revolutionary dash miner that went from being an absolutely crazy profitable rig when the first ones hit to being one of the worst ASIC miner investments in history to the point that people still bring it up. Now it's been five, six years later. Many later buyers never made their money back. And, and you know, that really that's the gist of it, right? But then they came out with, um, forget the D5, the, the D7 is what was interesting. The Bitmain Ant Miner D7 was not all that popular. It was not all that talked about. And they really didn't make that many. It turned out to be a very lucrative mining endeavor, right? So mining cryptocurrencies, you're in passive income. Each miner mines a different coin or mining algorithm, which is normally in this, this era, just kind of like one interesting coin. I'm super excited for the D9. I hope that Bitmain is gonna keep some decent business practices. The coin mining question here, Dash, you know, it has been, you know, lackluster but not awful. But either way, I'm gonna bring you the real world mining profitability. I'm gonna go ahead and plug it hit, plug it in here in my mining pot. Uh, it's, whew, it gets a little loud in here, but this thing's cool, it's a lot of fun. Uh, but anyway, let's dig into it. <laughs> There's been a lot of new mining rigs released recently. Personally, I find that really exciting, but I understand that people with older hardware, well, they naturally don't find that as exciting. Some of the price points on these miners is just not all that exciting. But if you take a step back and look at cryptocurrency prices compared to their all time highs, prices are seriously suppressed or at least we can hope so if we venture and destined to hit a new all-time high eventually i'm bosk full-time crypto miner and i make some of these crypto youtube videos we're gonna be looking at the bitmain ant miner d9 here it mines the x11 mining algorithm these days dash is the only notable coin on there rp dark coin one of the first privacy centric coins one of the first interesting altcoins dash with a market cap of 636 million dollars 24 hour trading volume of 66 million and right now the coin is trading at 57 bucks a coin and most notably when it comes to mining 1356 dash have been emitted or newly mined and minted over the last 24 hours which equates to $77,000 of, of mining profitability to go after. Dash splits block rewards with master notes. Uh, so that's another way to earn passive income with Dash. Uh, Dash, when you look at it, this used to be kind of interesting. These days, I find it a little boring in the heavy marketing era of uh, cryptocurrency that we're in. Crypto used to be like, oh, you had a working wallet and you had like some idea, <laughs> we're in. Uh, not quite the case anymore, but apparently in some other countries, Dash is frequently used as a payment option. I've heard South America and some other places. Um, I've never been there. I can't vouch for that. Uh, I hope, hope it is finding some use and utility. I remember that the big pitch for Dash uh, about five or so years ago was, it's gonna be like sending crypto, but you don't have to use that long address thing. And we were all like, whoa, really? You could just send it to like at Bosscoin? So it's an it's a very old cryptocurrency. Uh, Lindy effect it's established. It's probably not gonna go away, but will it ever see, you know, a lot of uh, hype and prominence and price appreciation. Uh, because when I look at Dash, I'm looking at a mining play and I'll hold it, right, until it's an op a good opportunity to sell it, but I'm not some long-term Dash guy. It's an, it's an ASIC miner. Uh, you plug in the power cable, you plug in the ethernet cable, and uh, you know it's very easy to set up. It's, you look at these devices, they're simple. They really are pretty much plug and play. The only other thing uh, that you can do there is just remote into the miner. And once you're remote into the miner, 
then you'll be able to change the mining pool and adjust uh, any settings that you should so desire. For example, here's me remoted into the Bitmain at Miner D9. I'm actually remoted into the farm where I'm remoted into the miner. You can see my real time hash rate here. A whopping pool rejection rate of 50%. Seems weird. Something I need to mess around with. But I'll explain why that may actually not be weird. I got uptime here for about three days. So I recently got this miner. It's a pretty new miner. I'm not the first one to get it. Um, I had to hold up with, with shipping um, due to local carriers. Uh, but I actually got it super quick from Crypto Miner Bros. And Crypto Miner Bros, we have an affiliate link because we make content. Please support the channel and use it. But more importantly, use our link and punch in the code VOSCOIN to save some cash. And you're like, well, why would I use a reseller when I can just buy from the source? Oh, I don't know. Maybe because the reseller has a better price than Bitmain price gouging you. And the fact it's also out of stock. So if that's not a pitch, then I don't know what is. Uh, CMB, Crypto Miner Bros, they've been killing it with some fast ship times recently. I I've been really impressed. Check it out down below. They even boast a low value declaration. Interesting. And I'll leave that one at that. But that's cool as a consumer. But bringing it back to the miner, right? Um, so I'm just doing my initial testing here on F2 pool. I haven't checked out other pools or anything like that. I've just got one device. And uh, you know my performance here on the mining pool has been good enough. Uh, most notably, my average hash rate per day, which is what I'm getting paid off of, is 1,800 giga hash a second. And this device is supposed to do about 1,800 giga hash a second, or 1.8 terahash a second. So I'm registering a hash rate in line with what I'm supposed to, even with this crazy reject rate that it's telling me in the dashboard. Um, basically, if shares are rejected, they don't count. But when it comes to ASIC miners, honestly, sometimes they're just a little funky. A lot of different cryptocurrency exchanges support Dash. And uh, of course, you can mine to an exchange after all the events in last year. Naturally, I would advise that you do not. Uh, so for me, uh, personally, I'm just mining my little Dashy coins into... Uh, into Exodus, which is updating right now. Boom, bang. And so you can see, you know, my, my deposits, they just pop up. I have custody of my coins, not your keys, not your coins, not your cheese. Okay, like jokes aside, this is very serious. You know, we've all learned painful lessons, or at least I have among many others. Uh, so make sure you're, you got some custody of your coins. Um, otherwise, you're just hoping that other people and, and centralized entities are good actors. And let's be frank, they're not. They are not. So in these first two days of full mining, I've mined about 0 0.32 dash per day. 0 0.32 dash equates to about $18 right now. Again, is dash trades at about $57 a coin, being the 76th biggest cryptocurrency when ranked by coin market cap down 96 percent from its all-time high about five years ago one of the few cryptocurrencies that just miserably failed to hit a new all-time high when every other cryptocurrency did disappointing yes that's all that's all i gotta say that's very disappointing bitcoin mining is really cool but to be honest it's loud the devices are expensive and there are some pretty interesting alternatives. Like I'm earning $60 a month in passive income after my electricity bill using this hard drive miner. It's small, barely any heat or noise, and it's profitable. Check it out with the link down below and save some money by using our coupon code BOSSCOIN. This miner is supposed to mine $21 a day per the crypto mining profitability calculators. And at 12 cents per kilowatt hour, it's supposed to consume $8.20 per day, leaving me with $12.66 per day in profits. So I'm not quite hitting that figure. I'm mining about 18 bucks a day, 18.20, which leaves me with about a pretty simple 10 bucks a day. Bitmain is producing, again, a lot of new miners. I mean, the HS3, the D9, the E9 Pro, the KA3, the K7, 
are all latest generation recent releases and surprisingly all like very big powerful advanced altcoin mining rigs the l7 is from 2021 the end of it it's still being produced it's still selling out i imagine they have an even better miner a model in their back pocket but why release it when they're still the king with the l7 so i really want to expand my litecoin dogecoin script mining uh uh, footprint but i'm just a little apprehensive with these devices that have a bit of age on them this 19 xp is basically the latest generation best bitcoin miner it's uh i mean bitcoin mining is so competitive if you don't have a good electricity rate you pretty much tread water in market conditions like this i talked about it briefly before but the ant miner d3 was the craziest miner i'd ever gotten to that point in my mining endeavor career endeavor whatever uh 2017 i got this thing in and it was making 120 bucks um and then it ended up making like 400 bucks in the first week and this was a device i think that cost like 1300 dollars or something i, I mean it, this was nuts this was nuts crypto was nuts then it was a ball run d5 kind of came and went what's the d5 the d7 was a miner that was very profitable and very cheap if you got it from bitmain and it went on to do pretty well earning 25 bucks a day in a bull run most people made their money back if they bought in uh, from bitmain in like four months and then just went on to cash 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 in you can see some miners in a bull run are just absolutely insane we're not there right now so let's let's kind of dig a little bit deeper and run some numbers is it worth it should you buy this miner so step one you got to buy the mining rig it's not cheap at all this is an expensive miner even in you know basically a bear market uh we're still dealing with almost a double digit mining rig uh, so $8,300 if you forget to use the Voscoin cu coupon code to save some sweet cash. It's going to cost you $8 a day to run at $0.12 cents per kilowatt hour. Okay. After that, right now with my real world mining profitability and my initial testing, I am pulling $10 a day after I account for the electricity bill, which equates to $3,650 per year or about $7,300 over the next two years if nothing changed, which it always does. So Bitmain often prices miners at a one to two year break even price, but let's look at the positives, right? Dash price is really suppressed. It's it's just been, every, every uh, many cryptos are very suppressed. I, I think we have a very, very likely upside here. Uh, so. You know, you have to have some bullishness. You have to have some belief. You take a random price prediction chart here that crunches their data and spits it out at us per changely. Okay, so over the next year, they project that Dash will trade between $83 and $137 by the end of the year, minimum, maximum, you know, variables depending how it goes. You look at this and we look at this real simple. That's basically projecting a 2x in this cryptocurrency price over the next year. I don't think that's unreasonable at all. Um, pretty conservative uh, metrics here of market conditions and global macro conditions are even semi good or decent. So if we 2x our coins, right, then we would be broken even over the next year and have accounted for the electricity bill. Keep in mind, if you're an aggressive player, you can do something like this. So we're mining $8.20 uh, per day right now. Let's just take that at face value over the next year. We would actually mine $6,643. And let's say we pay all the electricity bill out of pocket, right? And then Dash happens to double over the next year. We're sitting at 13 grand, right? So we have 13 grand. And we accumulated an electricity bill of about $3,000. So if we hold all the coins the coin doubles and then we pay the electricity bill in one year um, we pretty much pay off the miner and we pay off the electricity bill which obviously you need to pay as it goes so you got to have the cash reserves to be able to do that and then we got some cash left over to you know take profit go out to dinner invest i mean obviously whatever the hell you want to do with your money or your coins and and this is looking at it from a dollar point of view right we're mining 0.32 dash a day which is actually up to 1840 now 
So we're mining 0.32, right? 0.32 times 365. If nothing changed, we would mine 117 coins over the next year. Let's be more conservative as more miners come online. Let's say we mine 100 coins over the next year. This also gives us easier math, pretty easy math. And then dash goes up to 120 a coin. Uh, so we mine 100 coins, goes up to 120 a coin. We end up with 12 grand. Uh, you know, I th and, and just with those figures, we pretty much pay off the miner and we pay the electricity bill. And I, I think that one thing that people don't do enough when it comes to mining is they just don't look long term enough. Well, mining is a long term play. If you want an easier route, if you want a simpler route, if you want maybe some more short term plays, just buy coins, right? The beauty in mining is the paying off the miner, paying the electricity bill, and then, you know, having this hardware that produces coins for you, right? You have assets. Don't forget you own these assets. A lot of people, when they run these numbers, they're like, oh, it's a miner. Uh, I got to do this with this and this and account for this. But, dude, you, you own this hardware. And if Dash doubles, so does the value, you know, roughly of this mining rig as long as something new doesn't come out and completely displace it, right? So, and especially with Bitmay being a top dog, leading efficiency here like this, they, they really have hardly any competition in the Dash mining game other than Ivy Link. And IB Link you know, always seems to trail behind them. Um, we look at this situation, and it could be a very lucrative endeavor. I mean, that's why I'm having fun. That's why I'm doing it. That's why I'm I'm staking my bets accordingly. Uh, but you know, mining's not for everyone. And this video isn't to push this miner on you. I'm not here to show stuff. I mean, I I make more money if you don't get into mining because then I have less competition with miner. Hey, you know, this is my data here for what it's worth. Uh, for me personally, with the current state of especially ASIC miners, right, these custom computers for mining, I'm looking to grab all of the latest gens. I, I think they all look good. I think they all have good numbers. I think they all have good metrics. I think we're in awful market conditions. I think sky's the limit for these miners, for these coins. Um, and I want to be in a position to just absolutely bankroll some good times because I've taken some massive blows over the last year. And uh, I mean, only way back is to, you know, play the game, play it harder, make some good moves, make the right move. That's really all I got. The only other fun, little fun fact I wanted to share before we close the video out is Dash has a public uh, proposal system. They have some proposal generators. But basically, if you have any ideas for Dash, whether that's, you know, build something on Dash, marketing, content creation, tutorials, that's all kind of the same category, whatever, head over there and, uh, and I'll drop this link down below and submit a proposal worst thing they can do is say no uh, they really don't get much activity on their proposals it's not all that active of a uh, cryptocurrency these days i think that you know with some new interest maybe a new wave of miners could help kind of juice this up if not no big deal this isn't where i'm placing my heavier bets but i do want uh, dash as part of my you know, mining plan here moving forward. This cryptocurrency has been around. I'm starting to feel like I've been around. So on that note, I'm going to head out. You're on the Voscoin YouTube channel. Home of our CDMO, our Chief Dash Mining Officer, Tails Vosk. Please subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. 10 seconds of Tails. We do it on every video. And maybe we should just replace the host with Tails. And it's 10 seconds of... Vosk and I, I don't know, I'd, I'd do something funny or dumb. I don't know if I could be cute like Tails. Done though, done talking. Lights off, goodbye.